Well, I want to say congratulations to the NUP camp. I'm going to tell you what has happened in the National Unity Platform camp. And also Juliana Kanyomozi has revealed why she has not been releasing music in a long time and also not performing on stage. It's a very sad story. Well, in other news, a renowned journalist from NTV Uganda has sent a very tough message to President Museveni. Stand by for the details. Well, a very good morning. How are you doing today? My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to like and share the story to your friends and family. Well, we all know Juliana Kanyomozi has not been on stage in a long time and uh, a very big section of Ugandans have been asking what went wrong in Juliana Kanyomozi's camp. But guess what? Juliana has finally revealed the main reason why she went silent and uh, it's a very sad reason, I should say. Uh, Juliana Kanyomozi says after the death of her father and son Karen, that was in uh, 2014, she sank into a very deep hole of darkness and uh, depression. Uh, she even wonders how she managed to overcome these tough times. Now, Juliana Kanyomozi, in her own words, she said, My most down moments in life were when my dad and son passed on, especially my son. I sank into a deep hole of darkness and depression. In fact, I don't know how I overcame it. It's partly why you haven't seen me on stage. Well, there you go. That is uh, Juliana Kanyomozi uh, finally telling us exactly why she has not been, uh, you know, releasing music and also uh, not performing on stage. But we thank God she recovered and uh, I think very soon she'll be having a concert at Kampala Serena Hotel. And uh, if you can afford the entrance fee, uh, which I think will be 150k ordinary, let's go and support our legendary Juliana Kanyomozi. Well, in other news, a senior journalist at NTV Uganda, Sudir Ruhanga, has called upon President Museveni to stop wasting our time on TV, yet he has no immediate solutions for the problems Ugandans are facing right now. It should be remembered that President Museveni addressed the nation last Friday and Sudir Ruhanga says everything that President Museveni said in three hours would have been summarized in 15 minutes. Biaruhanga says this business of disrupting businesses, especially for all private media, is unfair at a time when they are struggling with high operation costs. And lastly, Biaruhanga added that it's also not necessary for President Museveni to address Ugandans weekly. Well, there you go. That is Sudir Biaruhanga from NTV. I hope President Museveni's immediate people have forwarded this message to him if they find it necessary anyway. <laughs> Well, in other news, it's good news in the National Unity Platform camp. Their candidate, Anyama Balina Alfred, has been announced winner of Gulu University Guild Dress. Anyama emerged victorious in the hotly contested dress with a total of 915 votes cast in his favor. Ochen Felix came second with a total of 556 votes and Benson Alega came third with 388 votes. Well, congratulations to Anyama Balina, Alfred, and of course, uh, congratulations to the National Unity Platform Camp. Well, there you go. Uh, those are some of the biggest stories making headlines on the Buzz UG, and uh, it's a brand new week. I want to tell you that uh, more stories will be coming your way right here on the Buzz UG. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Thank you. Thank you.